Ricky, Rice Boy TV with Greg Nakano from AEM's marketing department. He promises us we're going to make 25 horsepower off of a cold air intake on an 07 Mazda Speed 3. Is that true? Yep. I mean, you're going to make 25 horsepower off these little pipes and a filter. People aren't going to believe that. You ready to prove them wrong? Oh, yeah. Let's go do it. Let's do this. Strapping the car down for the dyno is always dirty work. That's why we sit back and let Nakano do it. In order to keep the car from overheating, we need a high flow fan. Now that the car has been prepped, we're ready for a baseline dyno. The baseline dyno gave us 211 horsepower at the wheels. Not bad for a stalker, but we can do better. This is the restrictive stock air box that we're going to yank out. After the car cools down, we need to remove the intercooler cover for more room. Hey, do you look kind of stuck? You want to read the instructions? No, I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Want to read? What step are you on? Four? Uh, I believe wrong page. If done properly, the top and bottom air box should come out without any problems. All right, Greg, you took out that clunky stock air box. What are you going to do with it? Uh, I guess we'll just file it away, you know. We have a sneaky suspicion that a lot of our resumes got dumped into that same pile. All right, Greg, we got all the stock stuff out. Ready to dyno? No, we still have to install the cold air. <laughs> yeah, t I knew that. With the stock air box out, we have plenty of room to work with. So uh, when you first put the hose clamps and everything on, you want to make it all loose. Just make them all snug. That way you can move the pipe around, make sure when everything's in, you can make sure all everything's clearance right. You can rotate the pipe around, to, you know, to miss certain things. And, you know, then you want to go in through and tighten everything down. You really don't need to take the bumper off for this install but it makes life a bit easier. An intake is nothing without a good flowing filter like the dry flow. Don't forget to tighten the clamp, and don't blame us if you do. The final step is to plug in the airflow meter, and we're ready to hit the dyno again just to see how much power we really made. All right, Greg, that was the final dyno run. You want to explain this chart to us? The red is a stock baseline, and with the AM intake, it's the green one. So let's bring up the uh, mid-max. Stock made 210, with the AM intake made 238. So that's 28 horsepower. 238.9 horsepower. That's over a 27 horsepower increase at the wheels just off of an intake. You'll definitely feel those gains. How can How you afford a Rolex anyways? Stack of Pop Docs gave it to me. I got a Timex. <laughs>